Artist Carlos Mateo, who left his native Cuba in 1997, calls his style pop geometric. He combines aspects of cubism and realism in his paintings, and he draws upon mysticism and the surreal in order to reflect the Afro-Cuban experience in his work. Mateo joined me to discuss his career as both a visual artist and dancer. My first paintings, they were practically representing like a views of Havana, like a, I'm feeling like I was missing my, my city. And everything was very traditional, uh, very strong cultural oriented in terms of my background. So uh, I was working with a gallery in Old San Juan for the first couple, three years, uh, since my work was very, very tropical, very re reflecting the, all the, the nature of Caribbean. And that was the beginning. Throughout your life, you have had a combination of formal art studies and completed your art education at the renowned San Alejandro National Academy of Fine Arts in Havana. How and when did your interest in art begin? And did you ever imagine that this could result in a profession for you? Well, uh, the beginning is, I think, that you are born with it. I mean, some people, they choose to be artists, but I didn't choose to be artists. I was born an artist. Um, I'm responding to questions about my style because my style is the combination. When you look at it, it's not like a, you plan it. I say, you don't say, I'm going to put a little bit of Picasso, a little bit of Van Gogh, and make this cocktail, and this is going to be my style. That doesn't work that way. Maybe for some people, but not for me, because I did it in a very natural and unconscious way. And one day I was at the National Academy drawing a banana tree with straight lines. And I said, I had to keep a relationship between drawing and painting. This is no cubism. And, uh, and then I start because uh, during that period of time, I was uh, strongly uh, influenced by silk screen. So I ended bringing the separation of layers of traditional silk screen. But then I said, I had to uh, connect the painting with the drawing. So all the separation of layers start to responding to the drawings and was in a straight lines and all the shapes with paint was also with a straight line. And, uh, and that was the beginning of what I define my, my style is the combination of the experiences that you have in your life. In addition to being a visual artist, you are also a professional dancer, having learned how to dance from your grandparents. How do these two art forms intersect and influence each other for you? Well, I never saw that I'm going to be on a stage dancing. That, that was not my goal. Uh, the, the thing is, uh, you, you, you see that I see that I have a talent and I say I'm a painter. And I stop saying that I'm a painter. I am saying that I'm an artist. And an artist cover the whole spectrum, cover theater, cover writing, cover many different things. And, and all these things that work together. And sometimes you have uh, the, the same concept that I have for painting is the same concept that I have for dancing. The, the difference is that the body has to respond to what you have in mind, and then you have to manage that. Um, the other thing that I have to say, I'm, I, I used to be very introverted as a painter and uh, in my personal personality, and then Dancing, you cannot be introverted. You have to be extroverted. I mean, as a painter, I just paint. Nobody has to see me. I can put my work in a show and, and that's it. Um, but uh, as a dancer, you have to be out there. And if you are representing your culture, you have to give you 100% and take everything inside out. And, uh, and people have to see that. You, you cannot stay halfway. You have to show all your feelings and, uh, and expose everything. How do you think your art will speak to everybody regardless of their cultural backgrounds? And holding my background, I mean, that's the foundation. That's the foundation and that's what is what uh, let you know who you are and where you come from and where, where, where to go. I mean, if you don't have a strong foundation, you cannot go anywhere. So I have to start from that foundation that I was born in Cuba, then, then I'm Caribbean, and then I'm Latino, and then I'm Afro-Cuban. And if I have to define some way, I will define myself as Afro-Cuban. I, I, don't, I don't like to be defined. And I define myself just as a visual artist. And then I bring everything together because I have a universe in my, in my mind, and you are dreaming, and you are flying, and, and you don't have limitation inside of you. So inside of me and 
everything. I mean, I belong to every culture. I belong to the, to the planet. So the end of my message is like we are all connected. That's, that's the end of everything.